Man, what is going on in GPU land right now? NVIDIA with 5080 Super and 5070 Super cards on the way. AMD with a 9070 GRE, what? And Intel, actually this 24 gigabyte graphics card may be a thing. We're taking a walk on campus today. This is your reminder to go touch some grass, go live live. There's more to life than uh, just computer parts. So, you know, you can listen to this video, go take a walk, go touch some grass, but let's start today. First thing I wanna talk about, 9070 GRE, I don't know what AMD's thinking with this thing. Apparently it's been tested already. It's slower than a 5070. And no one's really buying the 5070. It's pretty close to MSRP. I've, I've seen it four or 550 many times. I think it's going for around 600 right now. So honestly, considering this thing doesn't have DLSS, it's slower than a 5070. I mean, you gotta be at 500, $450 for this 9070 GRE to make any sense whatsoever. At that point, I mean, yeah, it could be a deal at 450 if it's actually available for that price. The 9070 XT and the 9070 are going for what? Seven, 900 bucks. 9070 GRE, my thoughts, 450, it's a buy. Anything above that, proceed with caution. You're getting into scalper territory for that price performance for an AMD card, to be honest with you. We have Intel, or as I like to call it, Beast Mage. Coming out with 24 gigabytes of VRAM on a Battle Mage GPU. Now these are pro cards, you know, because only a pro would need that much VRAM. But uh, yeah, these pro cards are said to be coming out pretty soon. Maybe at Computex alongside a B770. And at that point, Daddy's involved. Daddy's freaking invested. Oh yeah, I'm actually invested in Intel. Disclosure for you guys. But man, 24 gigabytes with an Intel GPU. It's about time we uh, got up there and I'm excited to see what people can do with this graphics card, what kind of AI nonsense you guys are gonna be able to do. I don't know if this card is for me right now. My 4080 is in the shop, in the Zotac shop and uh, I'm rocking an A770. So, I mean, this was kind of interesting. One of the, I made a video about this and somebody actually donated to me and said, if this thing comes out, you need to buy it. Well, I think I'm gonna need a few more donations if I'm gonna be able to afford that the 24 gigabytes, uh, I guess you could call it a B580. <clears throat> but yeah, so donate to me to this video. If you want me to buy that 24 gigabytes B580, this pro card, uh, donate to the video and let me uh, afford its glory. It's 24 gigabytes of glory right there. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna turn right here. So yeah, Intel coming out with ARC cards. Pro cards, giving us more VRAM, giving us more core counts, hopefully with the B770. I'm excited. It does not look like they're giving up on this anytime soon. But uh, guys, we had to get to this last point here. We had to get to NVIDIA. And I don't know when, you know, I, this is kind of good news on the one hand. On the other hand, there's a lot of tomfoolery going around. I'll just start with the tomfoolery. You guys are used to it th at this point. But uh, the 5060, Supposed to launch any day now. Probably when this video goes out, it will be launched. Um, but NVIDIA says, nah, we aren't gonna give you the drivers. Reviewers, you don't get to have a day one review. We know this thing sucks. We know you think it sucks. And we aren't gonna let you say that. <laughs> People are gonna buy this thing, uh, whether you know they know it's bad or not. So we are not letting you get drivers for this thing day one, so you cannot test it. We're gonna launch it, and then you can buy it yourself and then test it. So. Basically, the 5060 is garbage. It's got eight gigs of VRAM, and no one's gonna want it, except all those people, you know, the majority of PC gamers that um, know nothing about specs and they see NVIDIA 60 class and they buy. So, GG NVIDIA there. Now, next thing we have to talk about is the 5080 Super coming in with 24 gigs of VRAM. That is spicy, because if you remember the 5080, it's on the performance of a 4090, basically, maybe 10% slower in some scenarios. But when we got 24 gigs of VRAM, I mean, that's basically a 4090 there. And if you could sell this thing, I don't know, 1100, 1200, I mean, <laughs> it's expensive, don't get me wrong, but you are getting a reasonable and respectable graphics card at that point. 24 gigs of VRAM for gaming, it's gonna be enough for a hot minute, so. <laughs> I'm excited for something like that. Is it something I would upgrade to? No, I'm waiting for a new node jump, something to, you know, like T TSMC uh, two nanometer for their next uh, 6000 series, or maybe Intel 18A. Apparently, uh, Intel 
just closed the deal with Microsoft. That's confirmed, I guess. And Google and NVIDIA are, are closing in. They're ready. They're wanting to pounce on Intel 18A and just the thought of, you know, RTX 6000 or 7000 on an Intel node feels wrong, but so right at the same time. So I'm excited for something like that. But yeah, so 24 gigabytes of VRAM with the 5080 Super. What's not to get excited about except the price? <laughs> Whew, I mean, considering 5080s are already going for 1600, this thing on the market, you know, not MSRP, which we realized is a lie based on my last video. Um, this thing would probably go for like two, 2100 bucks or something like that. And you know, for those of you get, that got that money to burn, all the power to you. But yeah, so now there's also a 5070 Super, 18 gigs of VRAM. And honestly, that puts this card where it needs to be a VRAM wise. It, it's, got, it's got enough memory to do what it needs to do. I mean, 18 gigs of VRAM, probably right under 5080 performance. I would probably say 900, maybe a thousand. I think a thousand MSRP would be reasonable for a 5070 Ti Super. Now, apparently, the whole reason Nvidia is even debating this thing is because they're scared. They're scared of AMD. And guess who this leak came from? Yeah, Moore's Law is dead. Of course, you know, apparently, according to him, Nvidia is scared of everything AMD is doing, but I don't really think so. I think, you know, it's just part of their, part of their plan at this point, part of the cycle, you know, release a bad product at launch on a new on a new architecture, everyone buys it, we get people to double dip with um, fixing the lineup with super cards, you know, more VRAM or more memory bandwidth, stuff like that. So I don't really think Nvidia is scared of AMD at all. I think that they're just adjusting their, their lineup to basically get more sales and squeeze more money out of us. Just, you know, the status quo is as usual for Nvidia there. Man, it's a nice day here on campus, take a look. I, I think it's beautiful. There's a lot of people around and what it's like May 8th today when I'm filming this and I gotta say I love the sun coming down in Texas. It's been kind of cloudy recently. We had some snow like a whole blizzard a month ago so I'm just glad that it's starting to get sunny. Weather's starting to perk up a little bit and you know there's there's more to look forward to. I'm doing this thesis thing right now. I'm stuck here on campus all the time but that doesn't mean I can't film with you guys and talk about what's going on in GPU land and technology and all that. So I wonder how much of you would feel comfortable walking around in front of, you know, potentially hundreds of people, maybe thousands, just filming and talking. The way I see it is, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn. This video probably won't do too well after me saying this, but some of my videos get thousands of views. So I'm already talking in front of thousands of people anyways. So it doesn't really bother me too much. Sometimes it's a bit awkward and I forget what to say, but I enjoy it, you know? Maybe some people might see me on campus, notice me like, oh, silicon steak. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. So yeah, which one are you most excited for? 24 gigabyte Beast Mage, 9070 GRE, the Golden Rabbit Edition. I don't know when the year of the Golden Rabbit's gonna end. Or the 5060, come on guys, no one's gonna be interested in that. Or are you a Moore's Laws Dead fanboy waiting for the super refresh and more VRAM? I bet you're holding your 1080 Ti too. Yeah. Well guys, that was it today. Watch this clip of me doing slow-mo stuff on campus. And yeah, that's it. Silicon State, signing out. Master of tech. Ever review every spec he's on deck from GPUs to CPUs. He knows it all. No question too big, no detail too small. He's got the knowledge, he's got the skill. When he drops his take, the haters stand.